manage your social media exposure if not you will destroy your life because there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification technology is a great advantage and a great tool if and when it is used properly but if you allow godless people and godless media spaces to indoctrinate you they will make the truths that you have learned that have framed your life to look like foolishness you will begin to erode from your life the wisdom of scripture one by one and replace it with mundane informations that may not stand the test of time everybody is speaking Everybody is counseling. Everybody is advising. Everybody is saying everything. Everybody is teaching how to do everything. But listen to me. My Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away. Is that in your Bible? That but the word of the Lord abides forever. Do not allow people impart upon you their mediocrity and their failure. Receive from the social media space what you must have. Manage your own life. Have a spiritual immigration system in your life so that you can select what finally gets to your heart. Hello, hello everyone. I'm on my way again <laughs> with my husband. We are going to somewhere. You know, it's an opportunity for me. When he's driving and I'm the passenger, I can just use the opportunity to speak. I'm not actually smiling with this video because there's something I heard. I mean, I've heard something similar before, but I, you know, when you hear some, some things, you think, oh, it's just a story that cannot be uh, true. Until I watched somebody's uh, video and also heard the woman and her son agreeing to what i heard you know this money 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 is the root of all evil people are going into all sorts because of money so this particular young man i don't know where he went to the people the group he went with because he obviously wants money quick money all this quick quick money ladies i'll come to ladies first but this particular young man where he went they said to him that he has to sleep with her mom have intimate remember when you say sleep sometimes you just think he's sleep but, but you know what i mean by sleeping but intimate relationship with her own mother and they have to be doing a certain time of the day and how many times a week or whatever they have to stipulate these things he was and he already entered he can't come out without doing that or they will destroy his life so when he came back he told the, mo uh, the mother the mother was like oh my god i don't want to lose my son and at the same time how can i do this what will I tell your father? Uh, or of course, he won't tell your father. But if they find um, my, your dad finds out, what, what will be my fate? Anyway, because yes, she said that she doesn't. Uh, she she loves her son. She has to oblige. To me, as a mother, no way. You know what kind of love is that? Why would why would even my the son go into something like that? And if you're a prayerful woman and you really know what you life is all about there's no way even if they threaten your son's life the best thing is not to oblige and start sleeping with your son i don't understand this this woman or maybe there's other issues like this because i've heard something like this before people who are doing things like this i just don't understand there's no way what kind of love is that you love your son you don't want to pass away that's why you have to do this kind of horrible horrible thing you know I, when i heard that i'm like one the son obviously yeah money 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 all the time but the mother there's no way if you're a prayerful woman and they say this type of thing you have to maybe take your son somewhere or pray as a family if you really or do something else but having that intimate relationship with your own son did you know what that means somebody that you you carried in your womb and delivered and they fed to be sleeping with the person because of money and because you don't want him to uh, pass away so it became too much that this um, uh, young man he says uh, her son said that he he is tired that he can't be doing this with his uh, mom anymore and that um and that he doesn't even want the money any anymore either you know he kept saying oh i don't want the money anymore and all the rest of it but he, he was too late far too late the mom already you know started doing this with his son 
obviously her husband um caught them red-handed one of those that's why how everything was exposed and now that uh, his first son because that was his first son from the story they have three sons and two of them the two younger ones detested their brother they, and their mom as well they don't want to have anything to do with them anymore their father also don't want anything have anything to do with them anymore and moved away from them now these two left the mother and the son who have been sleeping with uh, him that you know that, that just two of them now left they don't know what to do so what i'm trying to say now is the whole family destroyed for what because of money because of money People have to be very careful the group and where you go into. And I heard that um, now that what is raining for them uh, back home now in a country in Africa is that young men are all going into these native uh, fetish things for quick money. Please, people should think uh, 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 through what they are doing. Money is not everything. Why is all this money, money, money? And for ladies, I've also heard and seen uh, some pictures of ladies that went to some of these men and they don't know what they, they do to them and they become like useless, they will be walking around, don't even know who they are anymore because they, they, those men have used them for something. All boils down to money. Money is all well and good, but it's not by all means. You can't, we can't just get this money by all means. But unfortunately, a lot of people are going for it and looking for it by all means. How can you, how can a woman, and they were interviewing them, they were interviewing this woman and her son, and the woman was saying in, with her mouth what has been happening, and they say, why did you do it? Oh, because I, I, I love my son and I don't want him to pass away. Really? I don't think that what she did to oblige is the best thing for any mother to do and for that son as well I rest my case so let us think twice young people mothers parents everybody have to be on their toes because a lot of these things are happening and it's no longer funny yeah it's not funny at all it's so sad and young girls please Keep yourself, be decent. Don't sell your bodies because of money. And these men are taking advantage. They're just uh, using using this because uh, they will, they are so materialistic. They want money by all means, and they're using them for all sorts of things. So let us be very very mindful, young people. Please, money is not everything. Stop useless in your life, because this boy, a young man has useless his life and the mother as well and now there's no family there anymore for what now so when i heard this i'm like i've heard i've heard this uh, as a story in the past and it's like god forbid but this particular one one i why i want to uh, talk about it really was the fact that this woman and her son were interviewed and they confirmed that this was what they were doing uh, it's just so disgusting to even think about it and it's all boils down to money what what is all this what kind of money is this eh? people will tell you oh if you if, if people somebody don't have money what am i doing with that person money 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 you, you may you trade mon uh, money for your peace you trade money for your sanity it's not all about money my people please especially the young the new generation or young generation although some older generation are also pursuing money and doing all sorts of things in the name of money please let us stop let us stop destroying our lives and stop destroying our families because of money this story of this young man and her uh, his mom you know I, when i heard them talk i'm like oh my goodness so this is true let us be mindful. Let us please be mindful, be more prayerful. If you don't have enough money, find other means, a better means to find uh, get money. Money is not everything. You can't trade your peace for money. You can't trade every other thing about your life and your family because of money. And that, that, that kind of money is never enjoyed. No, you know, because when he started doing that, like, apparently he started getting lots of money and all the rest of it, but he did not have any peace. He, for, for him to say, oh, they should take all the money that he doesn't need the money anymore means that he, you know, he doesn't have any peace. 
So what kind of money? That kind of money, nobody enjoys it. I'm going to stop here, my people. I'm really so distraught about this story. Okay, then. Take care, everyone. Let's continue where we are going. Goodbye and God bless.